and welcome back to Let's Play Rise of Legends! Now, last time I damaged this Clockwork Spider, and I think I need to increase the game speed again a little bit. And yeah, that might have been too much, but no matter. Let's kill these Venucci conscripts. They shouldn't pose too much of a threat, really. Yeah, down here you can also see the uh, health bar of our units. And also, when you hover over them, or rather... Um, where I can see that again? Ah, there we go. Imperial Musketeers, uh, weak range units, and can storm enemy cities. We come to that a lot later. And best against lightly armored foes, so to speak, against these, well against these uh, Benucci soldiers. Against mechanical units they're not really that good. And the first part of the game is um, centered on mechanical and steam units and all that stuff. No magic yet, but we will come to that part a lot later there. But for now we're going to move south. And I do want to see... aha! Let's shoot that clockwork spider. You see, that was a lot of damage in just one blow. So it only needs to be dealt a little bit more damage, then it's going to die. These mechanical units are very strong Some against normal units. The help us even the odds. And we just got a few reinforcements. These are clockwork men. These clockwork men are very strong compared to our normal foot soldiers. And moreover, they are... Oh, yeah. The Doge is escaping, the coward! The army he left behind, show them the same mercy they gave Petruzzo. And these clockwork men, they gain increased power when they're close range to each other. So they have increased strength. Mm, and they also gain health back when one of their kind is destroyed in close pro proximity. So, let's see our main update. We were at the mine just now, and we have to eliminate the doge's units and also the barracks. So what we're going to do, we're going to crush this gate here. Also, while buildings are under attack, they can be repaired. So that's one thing you should always uh, know when you have buildings. You can't repair them when they're attacked. So you must kill all units that attack that building before you can do anything about it. Very important fact. That's something I never understood at the beginning of the game. So I was a little bit careless and thought I could repair my buildings just by, I don't know, click a wrench button like you would do in Command and Conquer series. But no, you can't do it here. So, really be careful about what you do. Now, let's move on over the bridge. And some more Venucci conscripts. Alright, let's move. There are no resources in this level yet, and there are no bonus objectives either. So we don't have to worry about anything, really. Also, we can get into forests and increase our damage, also decrease damage from enemy fire. Now I do want to shoot... I uh, can't get. Okay. Okay. Let's move these up a little. And let's get them healed up. Yeah, this healing ability of Giacomi very, very useful. Now I want to shoot with Kalini. And kill this thing with one shot. Bam! This ability is really strong. Also, I want you to move in here. Let's destroy the barracks, then. That's our main objective in this part. Yeah, they don't want to move either, it seems. They seem to be bugged out, eh? 
And they have been bugged out. But they will come to us. So, and that's the first mission, folks. It wasn't too hard now, was it? Probably not. But now we come to the real fun of the game. The strategic map. That should be it, shouldn't it? Aha. We've driven the Doge from Vernaza. That is true. But at the cost of my brother and a few of my men. Oh yes. Even worse, the Doge escaped with whatever it was that was making those miners sick. When I find that Venucci rat, I'll have my revenge. And we will help you with that, Giacomo. Be assured. You could, if you wanted to, examine the map a little bit more. But, as this is not really necessary right now, uh, I do want to continue to the strategic map and show you it. Small loading sequence, and we're on the strategic map. Yeah, Carlini now tells us these pirates we just saw, or rather these airships we just saw, they have been Pirata airships. So it seems we need to make sure that these Piratas are not in alliance with the Doge. So we have to make our way west to Pandonia to pick up reinforcements. So folks, this is the strategic map. I probably can't fit a lot of things in this video, but I'm going to explain as much as I can. So, you can see this strategic map consists of about, let's say, 15 territories. And we are this guy, Giacomo. We are this small piece on the board. Also, there's a piece of the Doge, a piece of Don Scalio, or Sclario, one of the Doge's henchmen, and Lord Rocco, another one of the Doge's henchmen. We can see that these territories all have special, well, buttons and icons and whatever to them. I'll explain them right about now. Each territory, when you conquer it, has a special, <coughs> sorry, has a special um, advantage that you gain when you conquer it. In this case, for example, if you conquer Padonia, you will gain three army points. Army points can be... oh, I can't show you that. Okay. Army points can be invested to buy units for your army that you start with. Then we've got research points, which we'll gain, for example, here in the Pirata Aerodrome. Research points can be spent to upgrade units with new special abilities or make them stronger. And then we've got city districts, which improves um, wealth per turn. Yes. And last but not least, we've got the hero powers point system. Hero powers can only be gained by um, by completing mission objectives, bonus objectives, or well, conquering territories normally, because every territory you conquer you will get hero points, even the ones that not belong to the campaign goals. Campaign goals you can spot by these, well, small chalices. So this one is the first, then there is the left one, the right one, and the top one here, Venucci. So when we have conquered all these four territories, we have won the campaign, or the first part of the campaign, rather. So you can go directly to these four goals and go up there and the campaign is finished. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to conquer the whole map because I want to explore everything and upgrade my heroes as much as I can. So, yeah. This is what this part of the campaign is all about. Or rather, this map is all about. Also, there are special powers. Like treachery which will make soldiers of the enemy join our side, 
emergency production, which increases uh, decreases construction and summon speed of units. Allies, which calls the condottieri for assistance, that are special mercenaries. Inspiration, which grants extra research points. Emergency supplies, which heals units on a spawn radius. A condottieri camp, that we can target and build mercenaries then in it. Industry, which grants extra ammonium on the map. And ceasefire, so that units can attack each other. We gain these special powers by conquering these territories, and we can use them on the uh, real-time part of the campaign. So whenever we want, we can use one of these special abilities. This is just for an overview. And once we come back, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your heroes. So, see you then, Vinci Mechanics!